Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a tool called EXIF tool. It is used to view metadata, modify it, or delete metadata from pictures and similar stuff like that. Now EXIF is actually a well-known metadata format and we're going to take a look at it right now on these examples. So if you take a look first, I have this Flickr for example. Flickr is a website for sharing images and sometimes they allow metadata. Now for this example we're not going to get extra lucky because these have actually scraped their metadata. So they have some of them. But first, let me show you how to install EXIF tool. So let's just visit their website. All right, so all you have to do is download EXIF tool. And uh, once you have the EXE file, you can actually place it in your Windows directory. And that's all. Now you can run it from the CMD. So hold shift and right click and open the PowerShell. And now we can actually write EXIF tool. And we can press tab. And now we can write the name of the image, 61, and press tab. And there it is. And we press enter. And there is our metadata. And as you can see right here, we have a lot of information. None of this information is actually special, uh, in my opinion. It's actually just like camera information, stuff about the picture, or whatever. We have some binary data right here. I'm going to show you how to extract that as well. But we do not have the location or anything like that. So let me just show you how to extract binary data in, in case you need that. By the way, if this happens, just pre press Control C and restart over again. So do the same thing as the last time and uh, add the B. And there you have it. Now this is the binary data that you can get uh, some information about this. That's a weird looking data. And that's it for this image. Let's take a look what else do we have. We can do exit tool 75, which is the another image. And here is more metadata right here. Again, we have some binary data. Then we're gonna see a lot of different metadata right here, but none of this interests us. And now let's CD back. Uh, in other words, let me just do it like this. So uh, right here we have the CTF learn and the metadata modifying. But let's first go to CTF learn because I want to show you uh, how we can actually get some good metadata. So if we open the PowerShell again and if we do the same thing, now let's go with the first picture and press enter. Right here we can see the flag. So if you like capture the flag games, you can actually find flags like this if they have forensics in them and if they're classified by easy, most likely, uh, because they're not going to be hard challenges. This is easy stuff to do. As a matter of fact, you can probably do it with Nopa++ as well. So let's take a look. If you type in flag, and there you have it. That's the flag. So camera serial number. So this is what it looks like, the metadata. And I can actually change this, but we're going to get to that later. Okay, so let's take a look at the other picture. So in this example, I'm actually going to show you the location as well. So let's do exit tool. And let's do the name of the file. And right here, we're going to get the flag as well. But we don't need the flag. As I said, I saw these challenges a while ago. We got the GPS latitude and longitude. Now, if you don't know what this means, is basically we got coordinates which we can type into Google and we can get the location where this photo was taken. Or in this case, uh, the manual GPS position probably. And this isn't where the photo was taken. It's probably just like added into it. So let's go to Google Maps. Okay, so now that we're in Google Maps, we can actually pop in these coordinates just right here. And press enter. And it's going to take us to the precise location where they marked it. So in this case, it's somewhere in Germany. All right, so now let's get on to deleting metadata. So if I open EXIF tool right here and load up this image, and if I want to delete all the data, I can just do all equals and leave it like that. Press enter. One image file is updated. And if I take a look right here, I have the original here, but I don't want it. So I just want this one. And now if I do EXIF again, I'm actually going to see that the metadata is scraped. And as you can see, we do not have the flag anymore. So we deleted metadata that was deletable. And now another thing that I'm going to show you is, for example, this doesn't work for every website or whatever you download uh, Google images from. Sometimes they wipe metadata. Well, actually, pretty often, for example, Facebook or Instagram, they're going to definitely wipe metadata from your picture. Um, in case you do it, don't do it yourself. Some pictures are going to leave that up to you. They're going to allow you to leave metadata. And sometimes you're going to leave accidentally some metadata, maybe the location. And what if you took that picture right next to your house? That could be a problem for you. So now let's uh, boot up EXIF tools again. Now let's take a look at the two Facebook image. And right here you can actually see that we have the flag. And now let's take a look at the same image that I got from Facebook. So basically I just uploaded it to Facebook and downloaded it from it. If we take a look at that, you're going to see that we don't have the flag here anymore. And we do have bytes data, but it's nothing basically. As you can see, no flag is here. Oh, and another thing that I wanted to tell you. Okay, so now we have the front Facebook picture. Let's add some metadata to it, because why not? Now 
Now let's press enter. So as you can see, we added the comment. Now we can delete the original. And let's take a look at the information about this picture right now. And as you can see right now, it's actually going to say comment is a LMAO. Now you can do this for all sorts of stuff. These are just some examples that I've put right here. Okay, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I just thought that they, this could be an interesting and a short thing to show you. So I think it's a pretty simple thing. Uh, I think it's useful for photography or maybe even really beginners hacking in forensics or something like that. Maybe you're going to have NISC or forensics challenges. They're going to bring you a small amount of points or something like that. And I think it's pretty fun as well to see the metadata of the picture. It's kind of cool to know, to get the location of the picture. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching and have have a nice day.